Reflect now has an iOS widget that you can add to the lock screen of your iPhone. With one tap, I can hit this button and immediately start taking any audio memo that will be perfectly transcribed right within my notes. You can see that the audio memo appears backlinked in my daily note, just as if I were to have taken it directly within the Reflect app. So let me show you how to set this up and add it to your own lock screen. So let me show you how to install the widget on your lock screen. First, just open the lock screen here. Whoops, did it accidentally. You do that by pressing and holding down when you're on the lock screen. So don't unlock your phone, don't open anything, just press and hold down from that lock screen. At the bottom, you'll see this customize button. Hit that and select the lock screen. This is a good point to note that the widget only works on the lock screen. It won't work if you try and add it, you, or I guess you can't add it to the home screen. So we'll select lock screen. And then here we have this nice button that says add widgets that might be in a different place on your screen depending on the template you're using. And then we can see the reflect widget down here. So I'm just gonna select that one and you can add any others you want there, but I'm just gonna have the, select, the reflect widget there. And that's pretty much it. We can select done and now we're good to go. So I'm gonna select this as my wallpaper and let's give it a try. This is a test to see if the Whisper widget for Reflect is working. So once you stop the recording there, depending on you know how long the recording is, it might take a minute or two, but we'll just wait and see if it appears there. And by the way, once you start recording, everything works the exact same as if you were recording within the app. Perfect. It looks like it worked just as we expected. We have the backlinked audio memo note there with the audio memo underneath it. If we record additional ones, either from within the app or uh, from the widget, they will just appear underneath here. Now, I do also want to note that whatever graph you have selected uh, is where your audio memos will go. So if you record an audio memo and you go on your desktop app and you don't see the audio memo, go check which graph you have recorded them to on your mobile device because it might just be sitting in a different graph. And one last thing to mention here, this is more advice for handling our audio memos in general, not specific to the widget itself, but once you do have your audio memo sitting like this in your notes, try the AI palette editor on it. Select the text, hit command J, and I've got a couple custom ones that I like. Uh, key takeaways and action items is one I use a lot. Uh, the key takeaways that are very detailed, or uh, I think I've got one for, I think it's called just listing the action items in order here. So I'll run that on this one here. Um, so create your own custom prompts, check out our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of different videos on prompts that you can use to edit your notes. So all of those will be relevant to this and it will let you take your audio memos and turn them into nice organized notes that look great like this.